God created mankind in his own image. He created them male and female in the image of God. Like a set of new glasses that helps us see the world with greater clarity, the value of human life defines how we see and respond to those around us. From the formation of a child's first tiny cell to life's final breath, all life has dignity and value. Because each and every one of us is made in the image of God. And that is why, when we talk about being pro-life, it's not just about a political issue. It's a worldview. It's a life view. It's a way of looking at each human life that transcends culture, class, race, age, and opinion, knowing that we are all uniquely created in the image of God. The sanctity of human life is deeply rooted in Scripture and modeled through the life of Jesus Christ who said, Whatever you did for the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. When we begin to see others as God sees them, we're moved to care more deeply about those created in His image. And we will live each day in a way that honors our Creator. We won't see the scriptures as mere words, but as commands to express His heart through our actions. Commands like speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. And ensure justice for those being crushed. Or love your neighbor as yourself. The sanctity of human life speaks to ancient questions that span all of time and every culture. Questions like, who is God? Who am I? Who is my neighbor? Jesus responded to those questions with the story of the Good Samaritan, who saw another man who was broken and bleeding. And instead of looking the other way as others had, he stopped and cared for that man, even at great cost to himself. Jesus said, go and do likewise. Let us see people as God sees them seeing their needs and having mercy on them because every person is made in the image of God. Don't be silent in the face of injustice, but be a voice for those who cannot speak for themselves. May we not pass judgment on the woman facing an unexpected pregnancy, but surround her with support, helping her to see the child growing within her as a unique person with a life as valuable as her own. So reach out to orphans in distant lands or the foster child in our own backyard who is waiting, hoping, and praying for a family to call their own. Embrace those with special needs as a special reflection of the image of our Creator God. Let us care for the widow in distress and loneliness. And let us befriend those in prison. Let us shine a light on practices that distort human dignity. Like human trafficking and the cycle of poverty that limits God-given potential and dreams. Make sacrifices to meet the needs of those dying preventable deaths because they lack food, medicine, and clean water. Let us rejoice in the image of God as expressed through various skin colors and ethnic traditions. Refusing to tolerate racist attitudes that mock the one that created us. Let us choose to see those who disagree with us as God sees them, treating them with respect and dignity while helping them to open their eyes to see the beauty and value of life. That is what it means to be pro-life. This is why we need to be a voice. <laughs>